there we have a bullet that's being fired. Awesome. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy, and in this video, we're going to look at using Kaboom JS uh, to do some bullet shooting or shooting bullets from a spaceship. Now, before we start, if you enjoy our videos on the Arcade YouTube channel, be sure to hit like on this video and subscribe for more videos on making games with Kaboom JS and other web technologies. So what we have here is a ship. So you see this ship is from Kenny. That's uh, K-E-N-N-E-Y.NL. He's got a lot of great free um, assets that you can use. So we're taking this from his space shooter um, asset pack. So this is this red ship we have here. Um, it's in this basic Kaboom JS project that we've set up. If you want to know how to set up a Kaboom JS project to be used in VS Code um, with NPM and, and all the uh, all the stuff like that. We have a video um, on our YouTube channel. So we're starting from that basic premise here. Um, I've created this simple scene here, this shooter scene, and we've kind of like just started it. Um, so we don't need this. Uh, so I've just started that. I've loaded these, these two assets, the bullet asset and the ship asset. And so that's in this public folder under assets. So that's where we have this red ship loaded. So in our shooter scene here, let's just go small. In our shooter scene here, we have the ship. So it's made up of a sprite using the ship key. It's got a position in the middle of the screen. It's got a rotation set at zero. Um, then it's origin at the center. And then we have this key down left and right that's just gonna rotate the ship um, left and right. So I'll just show you here. If I press the arrow keys for right, I move uh, clockwise. If I press left, I move counterclockwise. So with that, we're going to go from here and create a or add the code here so that we can shoot these bullets out of the front of the ship. So the front of the ship is going to vary depending on where the ship has rotated. So we're going to want to fire it from here when the ship is facing this way, fire it from here when the ship is facing uh, this way. So the first thing to note is when we start from rotation zero, so that's angle zero, um, it's facing right, so like 90 degrees right, um, that's where zero is. And this is just going to make the math a lot simpler. Um, if this is zero, so it's going to be, you know, zero, uh, 90, 180, 270, back to 360. So if you have assets um, that are, you know, facing up, for example, I think if you download this ship from Kenny, it starts facing up. Um, just rotate it graphically so that this is what the images when it's um, when when it's normal so that it's, it's facing right when it's normal so that's what zero is so you know if we if we change this it'll it'll change the actual rotation so we're gonna start at zero all right so the first thing we need to know here is we need to get the vector so that we can place a bullet where the ship is facing the vector depending on where or how, which way the ship is facing based on the angle. So we need a angle to vector to uh, function. And now to do that, we're gonna, we're gonna do that in, in this video. We're gonna make this function here, function, we'll call this angle to vec2. And we're gonna create out a kaboom vec2 out of this. So what we wanna do is given an angle, uh, convert, number. So this is also in TypeScript, but if you're using JavaScript, just ignore the type. Uh, given an angle, there's going to be a, a number in radians. So it's not degrees, it's in radians. We're going to get the vector, which tells us which way it's pointing, um, so that we can then use it to figure out where to put our bullet to start from. So to do that, we want to get the x component of our vector, which is going to be the cosine of this angle. So math.cosine. Uh, to get that, and then for y, I've got notes here, math.sign angle, and then we're going to return a vector2, so this is a vector2 from Kaboom, so let's just um, put that here. So here, here we're doing is we're doing object destructuring on the Kaboom contacts, that's K, and so you could, you know, we're doing vector2 like this. You could also do K dot vec2, right? It's just taking vec2 out of that boom context variable. This is just easier. We're going to do k dot 
everywhere if we um, destructure it out of here. So now this is going to give us the angle or the vector based on the angle that the ship is facing. So if we come here and let's say we do, let's do this, we do key down so that we can uh, print this out to see that it's working. Let's go const vec. We're going to do angle two vector two and we're going to give it the ship dot angle ship dot angle and then we're going to console dot log vec. So this press space and what we have here is okay vector x1 y0 so x1 y0 that's correct so let's go like this and let's press space and now we have x minus um, uh, y dot four, 0 0.5 almost, 0 0.49. So we have a, a vector value from our angle, but I actually think this is going to be, so negative x, positive y, this is slightly inverted. So we'll just keep going, we can invert the angle as we need. So let's, next, we're gonna want to create a bullet when we press space, so actually let's bring it back. We're gonna create a bullet at that position. So we need this vector to know which direction we're going. And then we're gonna start at, so let's say we're gonna do the uh, ship dot position dot X and then Y ship dot position dot Y. So that's gonna be the center of the ship. And we're gonna do is we're gonna add some amount in the direction the ship is facing. That's what this vector is. We can call this direction. In the direction the ship is facing, and this is normalized to one. So this is only direction. So we have the center of the ship, the position of the ship, which is somewhere here. The direction that it should go, that's this direction vector. And we just multiply the direction vector by some um, length or some distance to put it here. So we're gonna take, in this case, the larger of the width of the height of this asset. So let's say this, let's just call this radius. We're gonna do math.max, the larger of ship dot, I think it's area width. So if you are using um, TypeScript and you wanna get like what these values are, so like ship here is game object, we can do um, as, so it's game object for sure. And then it is also an area component. It is also a position component. So these are just types and they're imported for us here. Area comp, game object, position, post comp. And that would let us at least know that area width is a property on this uh, game object. So we ship dot area height. So we're gonna take the biggest of with our height, which is gonna be diameter really. So let's divide that by two or multiply by by half to get half of the the um, width or height, whichever is larger. So that'll give us a radius. And then we can do ship dot position dot x is gonna be plus equals the direction, right? So like we are at the point where the ship is, we know the direction it's facing, that's the that's the direction vector, times the distance we want to put the bullet. So that's gonna be times uh, radius. And let's go here, ship dot, dot y plus equals, I spoke radius wrong, radius. Direction dot y, times radius. So this is gonna be, oh, I don't wanna add, I don't wanna change the ship position. Um, let's call this BX for the bullet and BY. And we're gonna put something at that BX, BY location. And so what we're gonna put is a, another game object. So position, so BX, BY, that's the bullet. And then we're gonna give it a sprite, and I think it's called bullet, let's check. Bullet, cool. Let's go back here. So this should at least show us something. So let's see what we got. Space, oh no, space. Okay, there it is. Right, I meant to do this, so X plus. So the ship X and the ship Y, let's try that again. And 
there that is. So what we have here is this is the top left is going to be where the, the x, y, the origin of this sprite is. So we can set origin to center. All right, there we go. So that's, well, this is the basic case. Let's move this guy up and we see that it's not quite right. So let's actually invert this angle when it comes here. Now this should be correct. That should be correct. That should be correct. And that should be correct. So there we go. Now we, we based on where the ship is facing, due to, based on this angle, we can place a sprite uh, in that location. So we can also have the bullet move. You know, what good is a bullet that doesn't move? So here, let's make another component. Let's call it bullet. And any custom component returns an object. Um, there's an add and there's an update. So for add, we are going to uh, just here destroy it um, for this demo purpose. But we'll do that afterwards. Let's do update. On update, we're going to move our bullet in the direction that it should be going. And so let's get that here. So that's VX, VY. So that's going to be the, the velocity of the bullet based on the direction that the, face, that the ship is facing. So we shoot it here. It's going to continue going this way. So we're going to give it a velocity. And so velocity is going to be a VEC2, VX, VY. And we are going to assume that our bullet here has a post uh, component. So this is for TypeScript only. We're just we're giving a type to to this. You can also do, you know, game object because it is a game object. Uh, it is a game object. So this dot position dot x is going to be velocity dot x. We're going to move it dot y. It's going to be velocity dot y. Okay. So we have that. So if we come here and we do bullet. We want to give it a uh, velocity that it's going to be traveling in. So it's, that's going to be direction x. Let's just say it's going to go like that fast. Direction y, so that's 10. And direction y, so speed of 10 in the direction of the direction vector. That's dir. Now let's save this. Fire. Let's fire and wait to key down. We actually only want key press. So let's bring that up here. Key down is too many. Key press. Key press. Okay. So there we have a bullet that's being fired. Awesome. Okay, we're at 12 minutes. I'll give you another cool thing you can do is um, instead of having this key press here in this scene, you can even clean this up a bit more and add this as a custom component to our uh, ship entity. So let's cover here. So this is our basic oh, bullet, what I meant I wanted to do. So you should, of course, uh, destroy your, your bullets once they collide with something or if they've you know traveled off screen. Um, in this case, we're just going to just say, I'll just show you that this works. We're going to destroy. Um, let's see. We're going to destroy this sprite once it has 300 milliseconds after it has started. So it's going to be this, and it's a game object. Right, so that we uh, don't keep these bullets flying off forever, even though you can't see it on screen or it's hit something already. This is just a placeholder for if it's hit something or it's gone off screen, get rid of it. Um, okay, back to this shooter component. So let's make another component. We're going to call it shooter. And this is going to um, hold the logic for actually shooting bullets. So basically this. So what we can do, add. So this add is called each time or once the, the component is added to our ship, our entity. I just take this whole thing, cut that. I'm going to put it in add to register a listener. So now we need ship. But ship is just going to be this. And in this case, we know it's game object. We know it is rotation component. And we know it is area component and that it is position component. So if you did want to make this a little nicer looking, you can, you know, do something like if you're using TypeScript, type, you know, ship 
Um, just ship. Do that, and then we can just call it ship here. Now we can do this and this and this. So basically, replace all our references of all our um, ship variables with this. Cool. So now this is no longer going to fire, right? We remove that logic from our scene. Now we can just put it onto our ship entity as our shooter component. And here we are shooting bullets again. Awesome. All right, so that's it for this video. We went over how you can convert an angle to a directional vector. And then using that directional vector, um, determine where to place a bullet coming out of the front of the ship based on where it's facing. Um, and then just moving that bullet uh, in the world in the direction that it was shot from. And we moved our logic for shooting into a shooter component over here uh, that we can then attach to any entity that we wanted to. So if you wanted to have, you know, turrets at the bottom, that's not the player also shoot bullets, you can use it this way, write the code one time, reuse it across multiple entities. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more videos on making games on the web with all kinds of web technologies like Kaboom.js, PhaserJS, Klesius, and more.